In this video, we're going to talk about streams using strings. So previously, when we used the scanner class, we created objects that could read input from a keyboard by passing in system.in into the scanner constructor. Alternatively, we can pass in strings and to create a scanner object. And this is called an input string stream. Let's try this out. All right, so in this main method, let's create a string called message and assign it to John Smith and his age is 21. So that's what we did. And let's create a scanner object. Scanner, SC for scanner, let's assign that to new scanner. And we're going to pass message to the constructor. Previously, we used to pass system.in to read keyboard input, but now we want to read the string instead. So let's import scanner from java.util by clicking on the quick fix and eclipse, and which puts this import statement at the top. So now we can read data from this string message the same way we would as if we were reading input from a keyboard. So let's create a string called first name and assign that to the scanner object sc.next will read the next string up to a blank space. And then we know that the next string following that blank space is the last name, so we can say string last name and assign that to sc.next. And we know that the age, 21, is an integer, so int age, and assign that to sc.next int. You know, we want to read the right type of data, so call the right method. Next int for integers, next double, floating point numbers, etc. Now let's print it out. System.out.out print line and we could say first name plus space plus last name plus is age years old. Run the program and there we have it. John Smith is 21 years old. So we were able to parse that string by using these scanner methods next and next int. Also an output string stream can be created by using the string writer and print writer classes. A string writer class provides a character stream for outputting characters and the print writer class is a wrapper class for outputting various data types to the character stream similarly to system.out. And there's also a toString method that copies a buffer to a string. Let's try these out. Let's first start by creating a string writer object which is a basic character stream. String writer, let's call this character stream, char stream, assign that to new string writer. And we're going to need to import string writer from java.io. So click on the quick fix to do that. That's done. Next step is to create a print writer object which will augment the character stream with the print method. Print writer, let's call this output string stream and assign that to new print writer and pass in the char stream to the constructor of print writer. And also we need to import print writer from java.io. So far so good. Let's create a couple of strings. String first name and assign that to Will. String last name and assign that to Smith. And let's do his age too. Int age and he's 49. So now let us write the formatted string to the buffer, which copies from the underlining character buffer. And we do that by saying output string stream dot print. Create first name plus a blank space plus last name plus another um, space with is age years old. Done. And so after we augmented the character stream with this print method, we then can say string message and assign that to the character stream object, which is an object of string writer, and call the to string method, which returns the buffer's current value as a string, as you can see in the Java API. And we simply print out message, system.out.printline message. And we should get Will Smith is 49 years old printing out in the console. 
and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.